All right, this week on to DIY for, I've got this beautiful, big, texturized piece of art that I can't wait to share with you. Hey, I'm Janelle, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I do new DIYs every single Wednesday, so I really hope that you subscribe so you come back week after week. And if you have been coming back week after week, Thank you. <laughs> so this week's uh, DIY was actually inspired by another DIY YouTuber, Nastaza. If you don't already follow her, she does really great IKEA hacks and uh, just decor hauls and other great DIYs. And this piece was actually, I've just been noticing it in the background of a lot of her videos recently. I have no idea where she got it, but I loved it. And I kind of had an idea on how I could make it right away. And just recently I was in the thrift store and I saw everything I needed to make this piece. But it's pretty simple. If you can't find it at the thrift store, it's literally just craft supplies. So it's nice and cheap. Let's get into it. So I grabbed this from the thrift store for around five, six dollars. It's just an old poster that was on a piece of MDF. Now it does look like in hers, it's just on a wooden frame with nothing on the background, but I thought that this was a cheap alternative and it's gonna work great for our base. These are also those random bags that you can pick up at the thrift store with a lot of different items in them. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're garbage. This one had the rolls of crepe paper in it that I needed in a cream tone, and then I've got a bunch of extra tissue paper and it was only three dollars so I figured oh, how can I not buy this so this crepe paper is how we're going to create that woven kind of textured look and all you really do is glue down the pieces so as you can see I've folded that one in half I've left some of them flat and wide just to kind of alternate within my design you glue all of your vertical pieces down to one side at the bottom and then you start weaving in your horizontal pieces and like I said it's just literally weaving over under over under and then opposite the next time you will want to kind of pull the vertical pieces tight as I'm doing here each and every time it does ensure that you don't mess up your weaving pattern which I definitely did a couple of times but it also just kind of helps um create like a flatter surface as you're going through the project. So you're gluing down each of your horizontal pieces each time. And then once you reach your way to the end, of course, you glue down the vertical pieces on the opposite end. And then I glued down some more crepe paper around the outside just to finish off the edges. So I glued it down to the back. That is all there is to this project. But you wanna make sure you're not pulling everything too tight because otherwise you're not going to have this kind of lifted and texturized look like you can see in this project here so it's super cheap it is um, a really easy project to do but I will say it did take me a couple of hours to weave this so you need some patience to do it but I love how it turned out let me know what you thought of this DIY and of course I really do hope you subscribe I do new videos every single Wednesday and I've got Christmas decor on the way next week cheers and I'll talk to you next Wednesday